What's up YouTube, it's Macbook here. Uh, lately I've posted a few videos on how to install um, operating systems on a virtual machine on your Mac. So I use VMware Fusion and I had some complaints about that because VMware Fusion has a free trial of 30 days and that's not super long but I mean it's a free trial. So um, and there's also Parallels Desktop which is another uh, very similar application and they're both paid about $100 I think. Um, both of them so that's why I had some complaints saying yeah uh, we have to pay for the app and operating system so right now uh, I found a, a free app uh, which is called VirtualBox which does exactly the same and um, yeah it's free so uh, I'll show you how it works and why it's a little bit different than we have rare, we have rare fusion so that's why I have to explain it a bit so um, so there we go. So the application, as I said, is called VirtualBox. So I'll put this link in the description to the right. So it's for a Windows, Linux, and a, a Mac OS 10. Uh, so um, it's for all Intel-based Macs, and yeah, it's quite cool because yeah, it's made by uh, Sun, which is uh, they also made uh, Java. I don't know if you know them. Uh, they're quite known for their software, Sun. So uh, yeah, but anyways, I'll put the post this link in the description and you'll need to download it from here so virtual sandbox for uh, OS 10 hosts so just click on Intel Max and you just install it and everything you mount it that should be quite easy it's uh, the same as all other applications so then you need to launch it so um, let me check the um, so launch it so it should be something like this. Uh, at the first launch, it's going to take a while, uh, though you need to know that, uh, to launch. Oh yeah, by the way, this is on Leopard, uh, on Snow Leopard, but this is also possible on Leopard. As you see, I'm on Snow Leopard here. So this is uh, VirtualBox right here. So first off, the first thing you want to do to create an operating system is click on New. Then hit Next button. Then you want to say his name. So for example, you're installing Windows 7. Oops. Window, uh, whoa. Windows 7 so um, you can do that and then choose Microsoft Windows and then Windows 7 uh, for example or Linux or whatever it's ex exactly the same OS uh, chooser as VMware or Parallels desktop so I'm just gonna do Parallels because that's the operating system I'm installing right now even if you don't know it's not known but here you just choose your operating system and it shouldn't be that hard so then here you want to choose how many RAM you want to give it. So random access memory, just this is not very uh, CPU intensive. So I'm just going to put 1.5 gig and then hit next. Here you have to uh, click on create new hard drive, hard disk, except if you already have one. But then, yeah, then it's not really needed. So uh, and then uh, another window will pop up. So just click next. And then here you can choose between dynamically expanding storage or fixed size start so basically um, fixed size start is pre-allocated and dynamically expanding is it only uses the space when you really use it, it whether if you choose fixed size start is gonna take all the, the the memory you chose for it uh, uh, right away so yeah just choose that I'm just gonna choose for dynamically expanding start which I also recommend for all of you because uh, there's no use of I have another one. So here is the location, so where you want to save it. So you can save it wherever you want on your desktop. Uh, I mean, on your hard drive or on external hard drive. Um, and here you say how much gigs you need. So for this operating system, I need four gigs to install it. So I'm going to take twice as much. For Windows, it will be a bit more. So for Windows 7, at least take about 15 gigs, or you can take a little less. 12 uh, gigs is enough. So, uh, but be sure you need seven gigs, about seven gigs to install it uh, for Windows 7. So then just click next. Uh, here is a little summary of what you just did and then hit finish. So here you've got again the summary of the total thing. So uh, again, hit finish. It's quite uh, easy. So right now you've got the virtual machine. The only thing you don't got, this is the difference between VMware Fusion and uh, Parallels Desktop because in VMware Fusion you have to choose the ISO image right away but in, in VirtualBox you actually first have to make the virtual machine and then install the, um, the operating system so that's why I made a video about this because it's a little different so here uh, you want to click on CD DVD ROM 
double click or one I don't know and then if you have the uh, DVD or ROM uh, oh yeah so go on the CD DVD ROM tab and then you're gonna check mount CD DVD drive so here if you have a burn if you have a CD uh, if your OS is burned on a CD you just choose the CD host and other stuff and you so if you want to uh, if you want to do it with a ISO image file, you have to um, check the little ISO image and then click on this little folder. Here, a new window will pop up. Just click Add and choose your ISO image. So I've got it on my desktop. So um, that one. So just open that one and just select it and select. So then you have the ISO image and just say OK. So this was the the video. I know I'm not following the whole installation. I will install part of some VMware. Fusion. Um, this is just to explain you that it also works in VirtualBox and it is a bit different so that's why I made this video to explain you guys uh, how it worked. So I hope, yeah I know not all my viewers are going to uh, use this uh, but I think this is still really handy uh, for an alternative alternative to uh, VMware Fusion or Parallels Desktop and it is also very accurate so it's not going to crash or things like that. It's really almost as accurate as VMware Fusion. Uh, VMware Fusion just has a little different interface and uh, yeah but other than that you can install as many OS's uh, on VirtualBox than on VMware Fusion. So uh, yeah that's it for um, for the tutorial. So I hope you all liked it and if you have any problems just comment below uh, or send me a personal message. Also be sure to rate and subscribe. Um, and you also find down there in the description all my information about the contact thing. If you want to have a fast response, you probably want to contact me through mail. But that's up to you. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.